We've been studying about polygons, right? Yes. And uh, polygons are all around us, right? Yes. And one of, the, one of the polygons that we see around is road signs. So today I'm going to have a PowerPoint that I made of road signs. And let me put it up here. Uh, and I want you to look for the polygons, okay? So these are different road signs. And tell me um, what a polygon. First, tell me what's a polygon. What do you tell me what's a polygon? Uh, JP? It has straight lines and it's closed. Everybody agree with that? Yes. Okay. That's a polygon. So we have a polygon here. So I want you to talk to your partner, your, your elbow partner, and talk, talk about this polygon. What are some of the properties? How can you classify it? So go ahead and talk a little bit of how you would classify it. All right, somebody want to share. Janice, what, are you, what did you guys talk about? I see an acute angle. Acute angle? An acute angle? Yeah. Okay, yes. What else? Jeffrey? An acute triangle. It's an acute triangle. Why is it an acute triangle? Because all the angles are acute. Because all the angles are acute. What else? What else is it? Any other properties or classifications you can give it? Jocelyn? It's a polygon, right? It's a polygon. Uh, it's a triangle. It's an acute triangle. There's one more thing that we know about triangles. Uh, yes, Nadia. What adds up to 180? The three angles add up to 180, right? The sum of the angles is equal to 180 degrees. Good. Very good. Let's go to the next one. Go ahead and talk to your partner. What do you see? Pentagon. The polygon. What else? How many sides? Five sides. Uh, what about the angles? Two right angles and one acute angle. Huh? Two right angles and one acute angle. One acute angle and two up two, three. One two right. Yeah, two right. One acute. Yeah. Who wants to share about this one? What did you guys talk about? Jolina. It's a pentagon. What's a pentagon? Polygon with five sides. Anything else? Yes, Jeffrey. Oh, so you see rectangles. Nice. This one right here? Okay, good. I, I didn't notice that. Good. Right here? Kind of, huh? Okay, good. But let's, let's focus on this shape. Okay, we said it's a pentagon. What else can we say about it? it oh, you said it was a polygon called the pentagon. Okay, and what's a pentagon? Five shapes. Good. Five sides, sorry. Uh, yes, Tatiana. It has two right angles. I see two right angles. Good. What else? Uh, Jason? Two obtuse angles. Can you tell me where they're at? The two sides. These are obtuse. What does obtuse mean again? Angelica? More than 90 degrees, right? It's bigger than 90. You see it's an open angle, yes. Uh, Kennedy? It has one pair of parallel lines. It has one pair of parallel lines. These are these two, right? That's what you mean? Good. Yes. It has one acute angle. Yes, Denise. It has two right angles. 
Two right angles. They said that already. Good job. Uh, Jeffrey? The angles equal 520 degrees. The angles equal what? 540 degrees. 500 and what? 40. 40? How'd you get that? Why those two numbers? Why those two numbers? Mm -hmm. But why are you adding 180? Where, where are you getting quadrilateral and triangle? Somebody help. Yes, JP? So if you draw a line here, yeah, what do you have? You, you have a what? A rectangle, which is a quadrilateral, which is where you got 360. A plus a triangle up on the top is 180. So you added 360, 180, and got 540. Nice, nice. Good job. All right, let's see the next one. Actually, the ne yeah, okay, there's the next one. Go ahead and talk. What do you guys see? It's a rectangle. Okay, it's a rectangle. What else? And it's a polygon. So what? Polygon. Polygon. Or right angles. Good. Mm. Anything else? How about this? Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Good. All right, Nicole. Two pairs of parallel lines. So can I say these two? No? Which, which are the pairs? And how can we say that? Opposite sides are, are, are... Okay, I hear congruent. That, that's, that's right too, which means they are what? They're the same. But opposite sides, what Nicole is saying, that opposite sides are... Parallel and it has two pairs, right? Those two. Good. Good. What else? You good? Yes, um, four, right angles. four right angles. Good. Okay. What's it called? Somebody tell me about the names. Um, Natalia. It's a quadrilateral. And a quadrilateral is what? It's a shape with four sides. Good. What else is it, Emily? Parallelogram. What's a parallelogram? Um, a shape with um, two pairs of parallel lines. Two pairs of parallel lines. Good. Uh, Jeffrey. Opposite sides, are equal. opposite sides are equal. So these two, which is what you guys said earlier, opposite sides are congruent, right? Good. Uh, what else? Anything else? Yes, Oscar. It's a rectangle. Yes, it's a rectangle. All right. That was the obvious one. Good job. Let's go to the next one. Um, actually, on this one, there's one more that we forgot. There's something we know about quadrilaterals that we didn't say. Kennedy? Um, the quadrilateral adds up to 360. 360. What adds up to 360? The angles. The sum of the angles is 360. Okay, we got a couple more. What do we see? This is an animal warning sign. Have you seen these signs on the highway sometimes yeah. when your parents are driving? Yeah. So, uh, Eduardo, what do you see? A uh, rhombus. A rhombus. Okay, good. Uh, Tatiana? You see a square? A square. Okay, good. It's a rhombus. It could be a square. Uh, can that happen? Can a rhombus be a square? No? Uh, hold on, hold on. Somebody tell me about this. Yes. Can a rhombus be a square? Can a square be a rhombus? Okay. Talk about that. Talk about that. Jason, what did you guys talk about? Um, that um, squares are rhombuses, but uh, not all rhombuses are squares, but some rhombuses do. Okay, and how, how, why are only some? Because some rhombuses don't have... Um, the angles don't have, they don't all have four right angles. 
Okay, so some rhombuses don't have four right angles, right? Wait, what else? At the end, a rectangle. A rectangle? Tell me about that. It's square because it's a rectangle because the opposite sides are equal. And it has four right angles. Four right angles. So opposite sides are equal and it has four right angles. Those are the properties of a rectangle, right? And a square has those properties. So a square can be a rectangle. Nice. Yes? Is it a parallelogram? Yeah. So does it have two pairs of parallel lines? Yeah. Very nice. Anything else? What, what kind of polygon is it? Uh, Jacqueline? It's a quadrilateral. It has four sides. Okay. Um, let's go one more. Two more, actually. Go ahead and talk. It's a trapezoid. Two pairs of parallel lines. Yes. It's a polygon. It's a polygon. Six. Luis? Six. Um, yes? Okay. All right. Yes, what else? It's a quadrilateral and the sum of the angles is? 360. 360. Nice job. 80. Oops. There's one more sign. Go for it. What is it? What is it? Huh? Octagon. Octagon, which means? Eight sides. Eight sides. Um, it's a polygon. Right? Okay, very nice. We should be quick. Alright. Uh, Eric, what did you guys talk about back there? What is this? It's an octagon. What's an octagon? A polygon, a shape that has eight sides, right? Okay, anything else? Yes. Emily. Whoa, all the angles add up to 720 degrees. Where'd you get that? Um, a quadrilateral of uh, angles add up to 360 and have eight sides. So, um, 360 and 720. So, these basically, you're telling me that we can make this shape with two quadrilaterals. Yes? Two? Yes? With three quadrilaterals. Three? Two or three? All right, Jeffrey, what, what are you thinking? Do you guys see that? Two trapezoids right here? Right here and right here? And a rectangle in the middle, and that is three quadrilaterals. So, what's the total of the angles? Marissa? 1080, how'd you get 1080? So, it's 360 times three, right? And if we do it, we get. 1,080. Okay, good job. All right. Now, this next one has a question on it. I want you to try to answer it, okay? And talk to your partner about it. Think of two ways in which the speed limit sign is like the animal warning sign. How are these two signs like? They're both what? What else? What about the angles? We have um, four. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah. All right, I think there's more than two ways, but let's see how many ways we can come up with. Uh, how are they similar? How are they like? Uh, yes, uh, Tatiana. They're both rectangles. Uh, okay, everybody agree with that? Yes? Why are they both rectangles? Jacqueline. 
they all they both have four right angles and they both have what? Two parallel pairs of parallel lines. And that are those the properties of a rectangle? Is there something else? But opposite Opposite sides are what? Equal. For, for a rectangle? Opposite That's right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Good job. Opposite sides are equal. Good. So do we all agree? They're both rectangles? Yes. Okay. What else? Uh, Jeffrey? All the angles, um, they both add up to 360. So they both, the sum of the angles both equal 360. Okay. Good. Jelena? Um, they're both quadrilaterals. They're both quadrilaterals. Good. Uh, Marissa? They're both parallelograms. Does everybody agree with that one? Yes. Carlos, do you agree with that? They're both parallelograms? Yes. Why? <laughs> so the opposite sides are parallel. Mm -hmm. And how many pairs are there? There's two pairs of parallel sides. Mm -hmm. Good. JP? Say that again. Okay, so if I cut this in half, then I'm going to have two squares, and then it can be a rhombus. Okay, all right. Yes? It has four right angles. They both have, they all have four right angles, four right angles. Anything, another way that they are similar or alike? Yes? They're both polygons, right? So, anything else? Yes, Emily. They're both quadrilaterals. Okay. All right. Let's try the same kind of slide, but different question. Think of two ways in which the speed limit sign is different than the animal warning sign. So, how are they different? Go ahead and talk. All right. How are they different, Janice? The rectangle cannot be a rhombus. Can you tell me why? Because it's longer than the square. Okay, so what are the properties of a rhombus? Somebody remind us what the properties of a rhombus is, Erica? All the sides are equal. So it has four equal sides. Okay, and what else? Rhombus. Two sets of parallel lines. Uh, Jason. Um, the rectangle is not a square, which the square, or because a square has four equal sides and a rectangle only has it's it only has its opposite sides. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes they're longer, right? They're not all equal. Good. And we have one more, and this one says. Describe the national forest sign to a friend who hasn't seen it. So let's just imagine uh, you want to describe this sign to a friend on the phone and your friend can't see it and you want to tell them about it. What would you tell them? So go ahead and talk to your... Michaela, what would you tell your friend? It has one pair of parallel sides. Okay, that's one thing you can tell them. What else can you tell them, Jocelyn? It's a trapezoid. It's a trapezoid. What else can you tell them? Yes. It's a polygon. It's a polygon. Jacqueline? It's a quadrilateral. It's a quadrilateral. What else? Jeffrey? The bottom part looks like another trapezoid. Okay, so you got a bottom part that looks like a trapezoid. It's kind of divided. Okay, what else? All the angles add up to 360 because it's a quadrilateral. Right. Janice? It has two acute angles and two obtuse angles. It has two acute angles and two obtuse angles. Okay. Yes? Everybody agree with that? Yeah. Anything else? No? Okay. Very nice. So, as you can see, there are polygons all around this. Even when you go driving, you'll see a lot of these signs and you'll see polygons. Next time you just go driving with your parents on the highway or on the street, say, there's a polygon, and try to find all the polygons you can, okay? And try to name them. <laughs>